Hi, this is Yunerbi at the Grid. Today I'm going to introduce you to our API in Developer Docs. You'll find the developer documentation on developer.thegrid.io. Access to the APIs is available to all users on the grid. There's nothing special to be a developer. However, until your plan is activated, you will not have access to all the endpoints. You can use this API, for instance, to create mobile apps for platforms which we do not officially support, like Firefox OS here. Or you could use it to build, put a camera on your 3D printer and have it automatically upload its and publish its images when it has completed. Or you could use it to import content from your existing systems, like my website here. To register a new application, you go to passport.degrade.io. We create a new app, we have to give it a name. And the callback, which is where the user will be redirected after having completed authentication. And we will now get an app ID and secret, which we can use in our app. This demo app is written in Dart, written by Tommy Enkel, after we published our docs on Twitter. This extracts the uh, user information and is also accessible without an activated grid plan. I had already run it once, so it stored the uh, authentication tokens locally and it just shows information about my user. So this is a good way to test whether you're authenticating correctly with the grid APIs, even if you do not yet have an activated account. One very simple way of uh, taking your existing content and publishing it to the grid using the API is to share a URL of an article with your content. We will import it. In this example, which is written in CoffeeScript, we're going to use the URL import feature to upload uh, content from my existing site to the grid. It's important here that we use the compress false flag when we share the URL. This is what instructs the grid to take all the content instead of making article reference to a page. To authenticate, which happens by default because I'm already logged in, and it shared my content. Now when I open the extension and go into my posts, I've got a new item, which is the all the contents of that article. You can go in and edit it, see it has extracted all of the text and images, including moving GIF here from my web page. This is a very quick way of getting a lot of your content into the grid, if you have it in HTML form already. And if you want to have tighter integration, you can use the item API directly. This example, which is written in Python, allows us to upload files and images. In this case, I will upload this picture of some 3D printed scissors that I made. And you can imagine this being automatically done by the 3D printer itself by integrating it. We'll see that our image has successfully uploaded. And we can now go in and look at the information that we have extracted from the image. So you see we are extracting the prominent colors of this image and determining what is the area of interest. In this case, the whole image. The API documentation itself is on GitHub, so you can file issues and provide pull requests with improvements there.